Hello, my name is Tim Shubridge. Welcome to this video, which is going to be all about this incredible device here. It's by Erica Synths. It's called the Matrix Mixer. Now, actually, I'm going to be doing two videos on this thing. Uh, this video that you're watching right now, and there will be a follow up video, which I haven't yet recorded. Um, but I'm going to give you a spoiler alert as to what is in both of these videos. So in this video, we're going to go into what this thing is, what it does, how it works, uh, why I think it is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to do my very, very best to persuade you that this thing is insane value for money. That's what's coming up in this video. Now, in the follow up video, things get a little bit less positive. Maybe just maybe. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I've been trying to use this in my studio, how I've been trying to incorporate it in my workflow. I believe that is the expression. Um, and I'm going to give you some warnings as to why just maybe this thing could end up gathering dust on a shelf somewhere if you're not careful. So that's what's going to come up in the second video. But for now, let's get into what this thing is, what it does, why I think it is amazing, and why it really, really is insane value for money. Okay, so what is the matrix mixer? Well, it's very, very simple. It's a set of 16 patch points down the left and 16 patch points across the top. The ones on the left are inputs and the ones across the top are outputs. And you can connect any input to any output using this wonderful Etch-a-Sketch style of input they've got going on here. It's really, really intuitive and very, very simple. So if I choose a point and click down on this control on the right, you'll see it goes brighter there. What I've done is connect input number four to output D. If I move off, you'll see that the LED is permanently lit there. And that's all you do is you connect any input you like to any output. You can connect multiple inputs to the same output and you can have multiple outputs being connected to the same input. There are four stages of connection uh, or attenuation. So each of these connections is attenuated. With a bright LED there, like I've got, that is 100% connected. So 100% of the signal that I've applied into input number four is going to output D. But I can scale that back or I can attenuate that signal path. And I do that with this left hand control. So with left hand control, press it once, I get 100% signal flow. Press it twice, I get two thirds signal flow, about 67%. Press it three times, I get one third signal flow, 33%. And then obviously, if it's not lit, I've got off. So I don't know whether you can see that on the camera or not, but the, the illumination of those LEDs is indicating the level of attenuation. So if it's very bright, it's 100% all the way through, then we've got two thirds and then we've got one third. So what we've got going on here with the matrix mixer seems very simple and it's certainly very simple to use. But to enable that simplicity, there is a whole load of power and complexity underneath the hood. Let's take an example. Take a look at this patch. It's just one vertical line of lit LEDs. Now, what does this patch represent? Well, it's connecting every single input to just one output. It's connecting inputs one to 16 to output A. In this example, the LEDs are all fully lit, but I could go through and set different attenuations how I want with them. Now, what this patch is representing when you are combining multiple inputs into just one output is a mixer circuit. But in this example, we have a 16 channel mixer. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a 16 channel mixer in Eurorack before. I've seen a couple of eight channel mixers, but they are quite sort of niche and very expensive and specialist. Far, far more common are four channel mixers like this one here from Dopefa. Now I'm choosing this module as an example because it is very cheap. It's only about 50 pounds here in the UK. So what if we wanted to replicate what this matrix mixer patch is doing here, but using Eurorack modules? 
Well, to replicate a 16-channel mixer, we would need four of these Dopefer modules, and that would give us a total of 16 inputs. But then we'd need a fifth mixer to mix the outputs from those four mixers into a single signal. So as you can see here, we'd need five Dopefer modules to replicate that matrix mixer patch. But hang on a sec. We could patch it like this, or like this, or like this, or this, or this, or this, or this. As you can see, the matrix mixer doesn't contain just one 16 channel mixer, it contains 16 16 channel mixers. Now to replicate the matrix mixer in full would require a whopping great 80 Dopefer mixer modules, five times 16. That's 4,000 pounds worth of mixer modules. And we haven't even considered the Eurorack cases you'd need to house all of them. Now let's consider this patch. It's just one horizontal line of lit LEDs. What this patch is doing is connecting one single input to every single output. It's connecting input number one to outputs A through to P. What this patch is representing when you are replicating a single signal at multiple outputs is a multiple circuit. But not just any old multiple here, this one is a buffered multiple. The voltages are accurately replicated at every output so that you can use the matrix mixer to drive oscillator pitch accurately. So we've got a 16 output buffered multiple here. What if we wanted to replicate this patch using Eurorack modules? Well, the vast majority of buffered multiple modules you'll find in Eurorack have only got three outputs. But there is one that I managed to find that is very powerful. It combines four buffered multiple circuits into one module, and you can use them all as one, which gives you 14 outputs. So it's not quite the 16 outputs of the matrix mixer, but we'll ignore that little detail for this illustration. This module is from Synthrotech, and it'll cost you here in the UK around £90. But, as before, how many buffered multiple circuits are there in the matrix mixer? We can patch it like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. And yes, you guessed it, on the matrix mixer we have got 16 of them in total. Now, to replicate what the matrix mixer can do in terms of buffered multiples using these Synthrotech modules would set us back £1,440. So hopefully you can see there from those illustrations why I'm suggesting to you that this is incredible value for money. It really is, because if you wanted to replicate in Eurorack modules what this thing can do in terms of all its mixing capabilities and buffered multiple capabilities, it would set you back a cool five and a half thousand pounds. And that's before you even get onto all the Eurorack cases and power supplies that you'd need. But obviously, I'm talking about quite an extreme case here. I'm talking about a patch where you're filling up the whole grid here with LEDs. I mean, that would be a crazy patch, wouldn't it? And you know, most patches you're going to do on this thing are going to be just a handful of LEDs, honestly. But it's what you can do with it. If you want to use this as 16, 16 channel mixers, it's here. You can use it that way for whatever crazy patching you want to do or whatever audio routings you want to do. It's incredibly powerful. Um, and it's all kind of wrapped up in a package that is so simple to use and intuitive. It really is wonderful to use. And I haven't even gone on about the fact that you can save and recall the patches that you create on here if you want to. Um, but that brings me on to the next bit, really, which is, well, what would you practically use this thing for? How could it sit in your studio? How would you end up using it? And that's going to be the subject of my second video, uh, looking at the ways that I've been trying to figure out how I could use it practically. Um, it's, on the face of it, uh, a simple question, but actually, in reality, it gets a bit more complicated. So that's what's coming up in my second video. I'll be doing some real patching with it. And yes, you might even hear me play a little bit of music as well. But until then, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. <laughs>